Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about wide and narrow concept from maths. Wide, narrow. Wide, narrow. Children, wide means broad. Wide means broad. The sides are not closer to each, each other. Okay, wide means broad and narrow means limited in size. Narrow means limited in size. The sides are closer to each other. Okay, children. Wide, narrow. Wide, narrow. Now, children, what you all can see over here? There are two roads over here. Correct. Now, this road is wide. Right? This road is wide. It is broad. You all can see the sides. See? The sides are not closer to each other. They are broad. They are wide. And this road is narrow. This road is narrow. The sides are closer to each other. Right? They are limited in size. So, this one is narrow. Wide and narrow. This road is wide and this road is narrow. Now, children, let's see some examples. Now, here you can see two doors. Correct? This door is wide and this door is narrow. You can see children, see the sides of the door. They are not closer to each other. They are broad. So that's why it is wide. And this door, you can see the sides are closer to each other. It is limited in size. So it is narrow. Now let's see the next one. Now here you can see the kennel of two dogs okay this is a house of two dogs now this house is wide it is broad in size the sides are not closer to each other right whereas this one is narrow it is limited in size see the sides of this kennel the sides are limited now Yes, it is narrow. Okay. So, this is wide and this is narrow. Now, children, what you can see over here? Now, you can see monkeys. Two monkeys are there. They are holding a log. Correct? They are holding a log. Now, this log is narrow. It is limited in size. The sides are closer to each other. Correct? Whereas this log is broad. It is wide. Right? So this is narrow and this is wide. Now here you can see Two vase, flower vase. Now, this vase is narrow. You can see children, it is limited in size. The sides are closer to each other. Whereas, this one is wide. It is broad. This vase is broad. So, this is narrow and this is wide. Now, here you can see... Two paint brush. Correct? Now, this brush is narrow. It is narrow. You can see the sides of the brush. See? The sides of the brush are closer to each other. So, that means it is narrow. And here you can see the sides of the brush are not closer to each other. They are broad. So, it is wide. So, this is narrow. And this is wide. Now, here you can see watering cans. 
this water can is wide it is wide it is broad and this one is narrow the sides are closer to each other correct the sides are closer to each other so it is narrow so this is wide and this is narrow now the next one now here you can see which is wide this one is wide it is broader in size correct and this is narrow it is limited in size correct yes now here what you can see you can see two cats they are in the boxes now which box is wide which box is broad in size this one this box is broad in size whereas this box is narrow it is limited in size the sides of this box are closer to each other so it is narrow so this is wide this is narrow now here you can see two bows now this bow is wide it is broad and this bow is narrow it is limited in size so this is wide and this is narrow now here you can see two windows now can you all tell me which one is wide which window is broad in size yes this one this window is broad in size see children the sides of this window are not closer to each other they are wide okay they are wide so this is wide and this window is narrow it is limited in size see the sides of this window are closer to each other so that's why it is narrow so this is wide and this is narrow now the next one there are two photo frames this photo frame is wide the sides of this photo frame are not closer to each other they are apart they are broad so that's why this is wide and this photo frame is narrow it is limited in size the sides of this photo frame are closer to each other so that's why it is narrow so this is wide and this is narrow now the next one now children here you can see two houses right and in front of the house there are two roads now this road is narrow it is limited in size the sides of the road are closer to each other whereas this road is broad it is wide okay so this is narrow and this is wide so children today we have learned the concept of wide and narrow now what is wide wide means broad the sides are not closer to each other and narrow means limited in size the sides are closer to each other so you all have understood the concept okay then we are going to do worksheet okay now in the first worksheet what we have to do we have to tick the wide thing in each set what we have to do children we have to tick the wide thing in each set look at the picture carefully identify which is wide and then below the picture there is a small box given in that box you have to put a tick mark okay now let's see the first one now there are two roads over here now can you all tell me 
Which road is wide? Which is broad over here? This one? No. This one? Yes. This road is wide. So, we are going to put a tick mark in the small box given below the picture. Okay. Now, next one. Here you can see there is a river and there is a bridge over the river. Now, can you all tell me which one is wide? Which one is wide? Which is broad? This one? No. This one? Yes. This one is wide. So, we are going to put a tick mark in the box below. Now, the next one. There are two doors. Okay. Now, tell me which door is wide? This one? No, this one, yes, this door is wide. So, we are going to put a tick mark in the small box given below. Okay, now the next one. Now, here what we have to do? Now, we have to tick the narrow thing in each set. First, we have ticked the broad thing. Now, we are going to take the narrow thing in each set. Identify the picture correctly and then tick the right one. Now, which is narrow in this picture? This one? No. This one? Yes, this one is narrow. So, we are going to tick it. Now, the next one. Here you can see two rivers. Now, identify and tell me which river is narrow, which is limited in size. This one? No. This one? Yes. This one is narrow. So, we are going to put a tick mark. Okay. Now, the next one. Now, here you can see two boys standing with their ball. Now, tell me which is narrow and which is wide. You have to take the narrow one. Okay. Now, tell me this is narrow. No, it is not narrow. The boy has wide opened his legs. Correct. So, this is not narrow. Now, this is narrow. Yes. So, we are going to tick mark it. Okay. So, children, today we have learned wide and narrow concept. Hope you all have understood the concept. You all have to practice the topic at home. Okay. We will meet in another session. Thank you, children.